Could you survive being stalked for 17 years? Then at trial, have your stalker question you? How do you handle that? It's torture. Tonight, real courtroom drama like you've never seen before. Stalked on 2020, tonight at 10, after What Would You Do on ABC. Hello to our online fans. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm Rob Nelson with our top stories on this Friday, October 5th. We begin with a major admission by Mitt Romney. He now says his infamous comments about the 47% were completely wrong. It follows Romney's dominant performance at Wednesday night's debate. He says he was planning actually to comment on the 47% remark at the debate, but as we know now, the topic never came up. Meanwhile, President Obama has brought his A-game back, rallying a crowd of thousands of supporters yesterday in the swing state of Colorado. Sources tell ABC News the president's debate strategy was actually a calculated decision to avoid appearing unpresidential. American Airlines is canceling dozens of flights just before the holiday weekend as it scrambles to fix loose passenger seats. Airline executives are not blaming the problem on their workforce. They claim it's a combination of wear, poor design, and even spilled soda is causing the seat clamps to fail. The repairs should be made by tomorrow. The U.N. Security Council is condemning Syria after its artillery strike on a Turkish border town killed five civilians. Syria has since apologized, but fears about a possible cross-border war have triggered protests in Turkey. Ryan police used tear gas and water cannons to break up protests near Turkey's parliament building. The latest labor dispute in professional sports has claimed the first two weeks of the regular season in the NHL. No games will be played until at least October 25th. The players have been locked out since September 15th. The big sticking point is how to split hockey-related revenue. The players now get 57% of that, but the owners want to drop it down to 47%. And beekeepers in the Alsace region of France have a bizarre phenomenon on their hands. They say their bees are producing honey in shades of blue and green, and they can't sell any of the rainbow-colored sweet stuff. The problem is actually linked, believe it or not, to residue from a nearby M&M's plant. The blue and green honey is just the latest headache for French beekeepers who are already coping with dwindling supplies following a pretty harsh winter. See, even bees love the m and Nobody can resist them, Rob. <laughs> Plain or peanut, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, man. <laughs> even the bees. I love it. You can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Rena Nine, and thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.